Good morning, Good morning, Britain. Cracking down on crime. The police have told, are told in fact, they must investigate every theft. Officers will be compelled to follow up all leads and no longer ignore so-called low-level crimes such as shoplifting, burglaries and criminal damage. Uh, we're going to be asking the Home Secretary, Suella Braverman, live on the show, if the police have sufficient resources to meet the new cut targets and why they haven't been before. As Prince Andrew is pictured travelling to church at Balmoral with the Prince and Princess of Wales in the same car, does that mean that the Duke is back in the royal fold? Well, back at Balmoral, the whole family were invited, so is this a sign that in private, when it comes to Prince Andrew, the royal family are no longer divided? Well, Madonna, George Best, Lauren Bacall, Muhammad Ali, Michael Parkinson interviewed the biggest names around the world. And we're going to be talking to his son, Mike, this morning to find out what he was like as a dad and also how he didn't think he was worth it and had imposter syndrome. And do you have an opinion on grey squirrels? What do you think they're like? Cute and cuddly or a pest or lean and tasty? A Welsh farmer has found himself in very hot water over his plans to serve squirrel burgers. Oh he God. says the meat is cheap and it's ethical and it's nutritional, but uh, opponents say it's completely morally wrong. So what about you? Would you throw another squirrel on the barbie? And it's a bank holiday Monday for some of us and the weather isn't looking too bad. Largely dry with sunshine. The outlook, I'll have all the details of that and more coming up And Good Morning Britain. Monday, 28th of August, 2023, live from Television Centre in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Kate Garraway and Richard Maidley. Morning. Our main news this morning. Good morning, Richard. Morning. Isn't it interesting? Just yes. get on. Isn't it interesting? That happy almost bank holiday, everybody by the that way. you see, it's happy bank holiday. Yeah. <laughs> that almost everybody that you think of as being super confident. Um, isn't, like Parky, that his son is now Very coming true. forward and telling us that actually he was nervous, he was tense, he didn't think he deserved to be there, and yet, you know, he was iconic. Yeah, but there was something, I think, about that kind of lack of confidence that maybe is what made him sort of quite charming. <laughs>